assessment of that performance from you guys? Uh, you know, we came out with the bag. I feel like there's stuff we still need to work on and uh, come out and make the score a little better than what it was. Do you guys feel satisfied with that? No, definitely not. We could have definitely came out and did much better than what we did. So we're just going to come tomorrow and watch film and see what we did wrong. Were there any big adjustments the defense tried to make out of, out of halftime? Uh, not really. You know, just keep on that intensity, keep on that effort, and that's what we need to do. How do you guys feel like you guys responded to losing Drake, obviously, of a big loss right there right before halftime? Uh, well, you know, just like a, uh, just like our SC is, you know, the next man up. So we just replace him with somebody that's going to get the job. It looked like you were talking to him after the game. What do you, what do you guys say? Uh, you know, we always just talk it up, just about little stuff. You know, nothing really major. But you know, I definitely was pretty bummed about seeing his foot. I just, I just can't even say anything. You know, like that. It's just crazy that things happen like this in games. And uh, if you guys remember. The Arizona game, my freshman year, it was a big, it was a big injury battle. So I feel like there was no luck here either. What do you see on your staff? What do you see on your staff leading up to it? Uh, you know, I've been getting pressured all, all game. You know, so it's just the time that I, I executed. You know, I've been trying to really work on finishing my sacks. I would say because it's, it's you guys can see that I'm always. Getting the, the hot just gotta be patient. Is it frustrating not getting home all the time? Uh, it's not frustrating. I know I'm there, so I know I'm gonna keep coming and I might get it just how I got it. Is there like one, you, is there like one thing to finishing a sack? Oh, uh, really? It's, it's a bunch. It's a bunch of things that come to finishing the sack and just being in the game and knowing what you gotta do at that moment, going so fast. It can sometimes be one or two things that you miss that can not make you get to say if that makes sense. How much does film study play into your ability to get a sack? It's one of the biggest. You know, if you don't watch film, you can't see what the guys are doing. You don't know what their tendencies are. So film is one of the biggest. When you're asked to kind of drop into coverage versus rush the passer, what, what's going through your head? Nothing. Uh, or I wouldn't say nothing, but, you know, just getting my job done and uh, dropping the right assignment and, you know, just making a play like I would coming off the edge. Do you see that as, as being something that helps you going forward with, with your football oh, career? Sure. I, I definitely do because, you know, some not everybody can do that. You know, not everybody can come off the edge and drop, you know. So I'm really just working on my dropping skills right now so I can, you know, be able to have a being 100% in both, you know, if that makes sense. Being 100% in the pass rush and drop. And then some kind of new faces up, up in the front impact from like Elijah Winston and Colin Mobley getting in a little bit and, and Max Gibbs, what did you see from some of those? Yeah, guys? you know, we really just want to play everybody because uh, we got all dogs, you know, so just a couple of more dogs on the field. How do you feel about the nickname Drake Saxon? I love it. You know, uh, it goes right around along with 99 Problems and, you know, I, I love to see them, the fans do what they do to me and I love it. Thank you. Probably. Appreciate you guys.